In the history of weapon development, Yugoslavia was a very unique presence. Although the country did not develop a complete series of weapons like other major countries, the various weapons produced intermittently during this period always impressed the world. Prior to this, we have already introduced several equipment produced by Yugoslavia. Today, let's briefly introduce a tank manufactured by Yugoslavia through reverse engineering, Tank Vehicle A, here and after referred to as the A-Type Tank. The prototype of the A-Type Tank is the T-34-85 medium tank. As one of the main tanks of the Soviet Union during World War II, it was also equipped by many other countries after the war. When designing the A-Type Tank, Yugoslavia basically retained the T-34-85's hull structure, with the main changes being made to the turret and weapon configuration. The basic structure of the chassis remains unchanged, but the specific configuration has completely changed. It is powered by a V-12 diesel engine, which Yugoslavia assembled itself using many civilian components. Therefore, the engine's stability is poor, often experiencing overheating and other issues. After all, driving a tank weighing tens of tons is different from driving a civilian truck. Additionally, the A-type tank cannot be equipped with compressed air equipment used to start the engine. The running gear still uses the same five pairs of road wheels, with track plates that are 500 mm wide. Each side of the track consists of a total of 72 track plates. Perhaps due to strength considerations, the track plates produced by Yugoslavia weigh about 100 kg more per side compared to the T-34-85. The turret of the A-type tank is particularly unique. At first glance, it has an American style and is somewhat similar to the early M47 Patton tank. The back of the turret protrudes prominently, but the overall shape is more rounded. There are two side-by-side -side crew hatches on the turret, with the tank commander located on the left side of the turret. His hatch will be equipped with a command tower. The main gun uses an early M47's M36 90mm gun, and there is also a version that uses Yugoslavia's own improved 85mm gun in the prototype vehicle. The M36 gun is equipped with a muzzle brake and has better combat capabilities than the 85mm gun of the original T-34-85 tank. The turret is electrically controlled, making it more flexible to operate. Combined with the overall height adjustment, the A-Type tank's main gun has a greater depression angle, reduced from the original minus 5 degrees to minus 10 degrees, but the elevation angle is reduced from 22 degrees to 17 degrees. All auxiliary weapons have also been replaced. The coaxial machine gun of the gun is replaced with an MG42 machine gun, and the forward-facing machine gun on the front of the hull is also replaced with this model. In addition, a 12.7mm M2 heavy machine gun is installed on the top of the turret. The overall defense of the tank is slightly stronger than the T-34-85. The front of the hull has a thickness of 50mm, the sides and rear are 45mm, and the top and bottom are 25mm. The front of the turret is 100mm thick, the sides are 82-86mm, to and the rear is 60mm thick. After this series of adjustments, the A-Type tank actually became a Soviet tank with American heritage. Its weight increased to 34.7 tons, while the T-34-85 was only 32 tons. The length of the hull is 6 meters, the width is 3.225 meters, and the height is 2.7 meters. The maximum speed is 50 km per hour, and the off-road speed is about 12 km per hour. The crew consists of five people, including the tank commander, loader, gunner, and driver. The assistant driver is located next to the driver in the front of the hull and also operates the hull's forward-facing machine gun, likely also serving as a radio operator. At first glance, the combat performance of the A-type tank has improved a lot, and it is also known as a heavy A-type tank. However, it did not break out of the framework of a medium tank. In addition to the insufficient reliability of the power system, the internal visibility of the tank is also very poor, possibly due to Yugoslavia's lack of design experience in this area. There were only a total of nine tanks of this type. The project was initiated in 1949, when the M47 Patton had not yet entered service. After many years of development, it was eventually abandoned without mass production and deployment.